I rolled a one, and that means I'm doing a NASCAR Thunder 2004 gameplay. Let's go to the track. Thank you, beloved Odie, my beloved pet. Odie's on 101 here, and I am in the garage. I got eight races to go with the chest gets building. I got two races to go with the repairing. And, of course, I obviously got two races to go with the overhauling. Some races to go with the building. So, I'm either going to choose this one... I'm just going to try engine number two, which is my oldest chassis that's active. And for the body, I'm going to choose, wow. Um, since I'm at, at a lower track, I'm going to go with chassis number three. It's not the uh, oldest, but the newest, but hopefully I have enough power in it. But I have a 63. I'm not going to have the best car, but I'm going to give it a shot. Let's go racing at New Hampshire. Not too bad, 21st place, but wasn't enough to uh, raise the qualifying time or the qualifying average spot. Maybe, but I could have done a lot better because if I hadn't b scraped that wall and balanced the, car balanced the car more. But let's go to the race. Welcome to New Hampshire International Speedway in Loudoun for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Sylvania 300. What can we expect to see today, Barney? They did run a restrictor plate here for a couple of races because of the concern about the accelerators getting stuck open going into these flat corners. They no longer need those plates with the addition of the engine kill switch to all the cars. The switch is on the steering wheel and allows the drivers to quickly shut the engine off if they're going into the corner too hard. Steve Park is having some trouble in the points this year. And, of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. You'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. Chase Montgomery has had some bad luck the last two races. Oh, he definitely wants to turn things around starting now. His whole crew seems determined to pull out of this slump. I wouldn't be surprised if they pull off at least a top 15. Terry Labonte has been called the Iceman because of his cool demeanor under pressure. But maybe the nickname Iron Man is more appropriate. You know, that's right. Labonte set a record for consecutive race starts with 655. That's over 20 years without missing a race. Good national anthem. Some of those grandstands you saw on the very right, unfortunately, they're not there anymore. NASCAR had pretty much downsized in the fans sitting in the stands, which includes Daytona. But I've heard the upside about the Carolinas, like Rockingham and North Wilkesboro, they're getting like a facelift. Here is Rusty Wallace, who's ahead of me. I had a person in the uh, comments below in one of my videos that I should put him in the wall, but so far it's not happening right now, but, oh man, I gotta concentrate. Okay. Oop. I didn't put him in the wall, but I robbed him. I rubbed him. Okay. Okay, I cannot break check them. Okay. This is pretty cool. I don't want to be too dumb because my one of my top engines is being repaired 
I mean, I mean, my top chassis is being repaired, so I only got one chassis to work with. I might have two engines and two bodies to work with, but I gotta stay smart here. I don't want to tear this car up. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be like a top 20 car, so there. And me and Jeff Burton are racing side by side. I had a huge run of him, but I backed off the gas because I don't want to slam into him. So I promised somebody else that I would try to drive, drive clean as much as possible. Hello, all you fans. So, thought I'd say hi again. Yes, sir. And another huge run going through the corner and through the turns. Got to save my car for the end when it needs. And Elliot Sattler's nice enough to let me pass him. Okay. Thank you for letting me in the top 20, Sadler. Good luck to you in the future races. And a little more rubbing is racing ahead of me. Yeah, the last time I was at New Hampshire, one of my new chassis was working pretty well. But now I'm thinking, is this the same chassis I used for the New Hampshire race for the early summer? Possibly, I don't remember. Who knows? Do you know? Well, I'm pretty sure this is not the same paint scheme. Yeah, I think this paint scheme is pretty working for me. And the wild paint scheme fits well because I was definitely a wild child when it comes to uh, playing these video games back in the day. Just didn't know any better. There's nothing wrong with the car. I'm just being conservative about it. Knock it off. And also, um... The first time I played racing games is, was the year 2002. And, and welcome to another edition of Rewind Wednesday, by the way, which I call Wednesdays. I'm glad I don't have too much light while I'm broadcasting this because when I had too much light on my other videos, it looked pretty bright and you guys don't see it. But it looks like you guys can see it okay because as long as there's not too much light, I'm good. If there's too much light, you cannot see it. And then I and that would kind of butcher my momentum of, of having viewers and subscribers and such. And you heard what Barney Hall once said. If it works, stick with it. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh man, momentum's coming my way. Am I gonna have a top ten in this race or what? All right, I'm easing off into the corner. Okay, maybe I got a little deep. Oh, yep, I definitely got deep. I scraped a wall. All right, Walter, if you can go by me. Just like that, one hit in the wall can cost you. Oh, sorry, Walter, if I had to run. See, all right, I'm being a little aggressive towards him. But I managed not to touch him. Yeah, as I was saying, I've uh, been... The very first time I played a racing video game was 2002, and I played NASCAR 99 on the Nintendo 64. Okay, I brake check Walter into the corner, but it was not on purpose. I was trying to save my car. And then I've been playing racing games for almost 20 years now. And the very first PS2 racing game I played was NASCAR Thunder 2003. 
Well, what I like about Thunder 2003 was when they had the Jackpot 5. If I was one of the Jackpot 5, but I won the Jackpot 5 races, that means $1 million. But it would have been cool if NASCAR Thunder 2004 had that. You think so? But, but still, Jackpot 5 or not, either way, this was one of the best games that has ever made. I should try to give NASCAR Racing 2003 season a try. Sorry, Burton. Yep, Burton hates me. Wow, look at the run Mark Martin got. Oh my gosh. Jeremy Marlin with all the with those fresh tires. Oh man, am I having to run on Johnson? I'm running pretty well at New Hampshire. Oh, he might—he might have came in pit. He might have collided with me, but he didn't. Oh, I just tapped the wall. Uh, should I let Johnson go? I'm gonna block him. Is that? I don't think Newman's on the lead. Lab! Ah! Walls and I made contact. Oh, uh, I think he's not forgetting about what happened earlier in the race. Johnson goes way down below the yellow line and just slips right up to the track. And I'm very low on fuel. I had to block Rudd for a sec. Sorry, Rudd. I had to do what I had to do. Oh, man. This is a great unedited race. I would pretty much edit my videos because I would have nothing to say, but I am very talkative tonight because it's been a few days since I made a video. Just wasn't the proper time, and I think I'm going to come into the pits right now. Let's get some service on this car. Looks pretty dialed in. I don't have to change a thing. I'm pretty satisfied with the 21st place uh, starting spot, even though it doesn't reach my goals, so... I can't complain other than that. I'll be fine. Uh, sponsors, uh, forget. It was about trying to keep the sponsorship, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun tonight. Presenting it, presenting this race to you guys. The NASCAR Thunder 2004 Career Gameplay. I should put gameplay at the title of my videos. And I got fresh tires. Oh, sorry, Bush. All right, I got to stop making contact with people. It's like the more the damage the tire your car is going to be. Right? So far, yet to pit. I had the 99 cars yet to pit. The 25s yet to pit. I think I'm uh, I'm a lot down, but there are 14 cars on the lead lap. But the caution were right now, and if I cannot get my lap back, then yep, I'm track alive down. That's a hypothetical situation. Hope I don't foreshadow it. That'd be the last thing I want to do. Well, since there's not any battles, I'm going to step aside for a quick sec. And my and 2851, 28051, my crew chief or spotter was trying to tell me that. Now I'm going to step aside real quick. All right, 2785. I just recorded my best lap of the race, and we got a battle for 16th. And I dive down to the inside, making it 3-1, and I'm in 17th. And now I'm going to pass Wall Trip. I'm passing you. I'm passing you, buddy. Are you going to stop me? I think not. And Jeff Burton, who is now my new rivals, is coming in. 
And I got my lap back. Woo-wee. Ah, uh, yep. And it looks like Johnson and Kenseth are going side by side about for 14 for them. And Je and Kurt Busch is trying to challenge me for the uh, uh, 16 spot. And it looks like I'm going to hear it 15th and 14th from pit stops from Jeff Burton and Joe Nimchak. And once again, I'm going to edit this again. Please bear with me. Yep, my right front's worn down. I was coming under fire from Kurt Busch. I guess uh, he deserved to take spot for me. And Kurt Busch, I'm sorry for what I did at you at Richmond. I hope you forgive me. And his teammate Jeff Burton isn't pretty pleased with me right now. He is lurking me down. Driving me down. Ah! Yeah, I'll take a 15th place spot. It looks like we might have a battle on our hands. Ricky Rudd's going slow. Kurt Busch is gaining on him. I'm on the inside. The red cars feature in Mad LM. Yep. 27851. Do I have the fast pace? I gotta check something real quick. 27851. Well. Alright, concentrate. Oh man, I had such a huge run on the front front straight away. Oh, wow. I just passed him for three wide, and it's quite a success. Looks like if I keep my car straight on the straightaway, then I have the momentum uh, getting more spots. Look at me go. Two laps to go. And speaking of two, Rusty Wallace, who I robbed earlier, this is another opportunity to put him in the wall. Oh, man, I slow down too much, and I let Kurt Busch go by. But you have a lot of slow traffic up ahead. I, I am so right. I'll just pass you, Wallace. I'm not going to mess with you. And... Oh, I'm sorry, Johnson. Oh, what is this? I can get a top 10. Oh, should I? Oh, no. I tried. I had to do what I had to do to get to try to get a spot, but he successfully fended me up. But what do MRN have to say? Not a single caution lap was run in the whole race. Well, that's good news for all these race teams because that can mean one thing. No major wrecks. This is MRN signing out for now. We hope you'll join us again for another exciting NASCAR Winston Cup race real soon. All right. And from the highlight while I'm passing Wall Trip, and I'm not going to show any more highlights, and the rivals are going to about to come and go if I don't mess with them. And I got more an associate sponsor, and still none in secondary and primary, but let's see what the results are. Speaking of results, congratulations, you are now a level 5 EA Sports Gamer. Alright. For the results, I'm pretty sure Whitetails is not happy. They might leave soon. My secondary sponsor just left. I'm sorry, Unical76. I loved having you. Western Auto cannot complain because I'm 20th in points. That, that one I can hang on to for, for, for the rest of the season until I have to sign more sponsors. This one is good, and that sponsor's cool with me, but for the secondary sponsor, hmm, average start, 5th place, average start, 10th place, qualified, 10th place. What in the blue blaze I have to choose from? Ooh. Average start, 10th place, that doesn't do me good. 
Well, I have to choose Goodyear because if I cannot have an average qualifying spot, I might as well try. Uh, but it's worth a shot, though. A full year with Goodyear. They're not going to be happy with me soon. I'll be at. I'd be out of their hair. And Whitetails are soon going to be exiting because even if I finish better than 15th, it's still not enough. <sighs> Garage. Still building. Still repairing. One more race to go till uh, the overhauling and repairing are done. So let's try to go to Dover and get some highlights in. Yep, I'm 17th in points. Stewart is still 216 ahead. It will take one bad race. I repeat, one bad race for he, 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 for these four guys to get in contention. That will be a five-man horse race. I would like to see a tight championship battle without me having to inter interfere. Driver respect. Three rivals so far, okay. I rubbed Matt Kinsel the wrong way, but I'm pretty sure he's not too angry because he finished ahead of me. Elliot Sellers, my only ally, come to realize. Awards, um, last time was the poll award at Richmond. Now off to Dover for real. And my car rating is 66, so I shall be okay. I qualified 32, 32nd, but I was supposed to qualify 10th. I was way off in qualifying, but I was comfortable in practice. The lights are on, and we're ready to bring you another NASCAR Winston Cup Series race from the Dover International Speedway here on MRN. Now, Barney, this is one of the tougher tracks that we come to. Why is that? Oh, yeah, the Monster Mile. This one-mile oval may look easy, but, boy, let me tell you, it's a lot harder than it looks. These big corners are absolute torture on the body, and fighting to keep your car off the walls requires total concentration from these drivers. On with the race. Yeah, we're okay. We're good. Dover, Dover. Oh, man. I don't like it at Dover so far. Yep. I have a car rating of 66, but will my car be good in the long run? Oh, yeah. That car would be much better. All right, 99, you want to block me? Okay, go ahead. I deserve it. Greg Biffle. Biffle, 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 Biffle. Biffle! Oh man, a huge run on the front straightaway. And then I managed to get out of the way. Oh. This is the race where I don't want to be uh, nice. Hopefully I have enough video to finish this race. If not, I have to like edit this video again while I pause. Gotta check something real quick. Robbie Gordon just lost it, and I ended up making contact with Johnny Benson, and I'm in 15th place, and I am reeling in Sterling Marlin? Yes, I am. But those guys behind me are not too far back either, who I just passed. Well, since I'm running low on things to say, and then I'm... 
and my recording is almost done for tonight, so why don't I take a quick break from recording, and I will be right back at you guys with more action, and I'll see you when I make a pit stop. Okay, welcome back to the Dover 400. So far, I had made my way up to 7th before the cycle pit stops. And man, I had a lot of momentum. And I had such a huge run coming off the front straightaway. We're halfway through. It's almost time for pit stops. It looks like I might win the award for picking up places. And after passing Dale Jarrett, that puts me as the top Ford of the race. Not too shabby at all. This should, finishing third should at least help my sponsors, right? And my tire is very worn. And I'm going to come in the next lab. And I'm in the runner-up spot. And I'm going to pass another Ford fellow driver. But I maybe... I shouldn't, I probably won't because I'm about to pit in a few seconds and I'm going to turn down here and, and I did not speed. Hallelujah. I'm pretty good on the long run, so I should be all right. Hopefully I'll get a top 10 finish at this. All right, do your best, guys. And I got five bonus points for Leah Lab. Not bad. You just what I needed. And six, seventh. I'm gonna eighth. Oh. Fudge! Oh man, that was a hell of a close call. Alright, I came in 7th and I came out 11th. Okay. Not the bestest, but... Maybe I should work with Sterling Marlin and conserve my tires while I'm at it. Ah, good old Sterling Marlin. Oh man, I shouldn't have gone to the bottom of the racetrack. That's gonna hurt. Dang it. Twenty two point eight two. Do I have like the fastest pace? Uh twenty two two eighty five. Dale North Jr.'s on a tear. Twenty two eight two five. Nope. Oh my gosh, these cars are way faster than me. But it's funny how um I should have been in the back of the pack. Oh no. I'm fading! No! This can't be happening! Oh my gosh. Uno momento. I must do this. Once again, we'll come back to the Dover 400. And I have gained ground on 9th place. And 10th and 11th because of live traffic. And I'm about to pass Rudd here. Hopefully I don't make a mistake. Oh, I just went to the bottom of the racetrack. But it don't matter. I'm passing the live down cars. I pass Rudd clean. Oh man, I rub into the uh, Ashton Lewis. Oh man, Marlin's about to block. Oh crud, oh crud, I choked it into the corner. Oh my gosh, three wide coming out the front straight straight away and I'm in the middle. Oh. I will, yes sir. Clear all around. Yep. I managed to make my way into 8th place and... 
Oh, made a mistake there, and I'm trying to make Mark Martin as my friend at a one-mile track. The Monster Mile. And it looks like I caught into more live traffic, and Jimmy Johnson's in the mix. Can I get a top five here at Dover? We'll find out. In case this uh, goes out early, well, please like, subscribe, and comment. And cars are checking up, and I might get in the top five and I'll choke. Oops. Goodbye, old buddy. Or should I say it's buddy? I gotta do what I had to do, so. I wasn't trying to be aggressive, but I had to. Oh. He and I made contact, but I managed to steer clear from him. Okay, I passed him clean there. Alright, I was a little aggressive, but I wasn't, like, slamming into the driver's dirty, though. I, I mean, I mean, I was a little dirty, but, but I tend to be aggressive, but smart. Oh, man, can I rally into a top five finish? I'm going now. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm, gonna, I'm literally giving it my all. Oh, shoot. I had to quickly press on the brake and back on the gas hand to turns one and two, so looks like the Altair is gonna finish in the top five. And oh my gosh, I had such an incredible run, but it's not enough to finish in the top five. Dang. See? Okay, I'll take it. I'm starting to, I'm starting to become consistent. Sorry, MRN guys, I had to speak, but during replay number one, the real one. I'll show it to you guys real quick. And it, me making a late charge against Dale Jarrett. In slow motion. Right there is when Robbie Gorn got loose. Hold on. I'll show you the replay one more time. Of how I got there. See? The 31 got loose. Turning into the right, and then that's why, and that's how I made contact with Johnny Benson, and then I passed Clint McMurray, and Bush, and Gordon. Mark Martin, he's going to be my future buddy, because I have a lot of respect for him. Made a lot of money in my associate, uh, didn't make primary and secondary bonuses, but I got good money still. Uh, race stats, uh, zero for zero laps, three lead changes, 183,000, 4.84 seconds is the margin of victory, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. was on a tear once again. Off to the main menu. The point standings made a slight, slight difference. Awards. I Yep, I picked up the most places, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. had a fast pace. He was the car to beat. Ray Bess's rookie of the year, pole war, two poles, six position. And manufacturer stings. Chevrolet is definitely run away with it. It's their year. Lab champion. 10th place with 14 points. And and then my it was no surprise to me that my primary sponsor is uh uh is gone, so I could either choose EA Games, or I could choose finish 15th, average start 15th, 15th in points, finish 5th place, finish 10th. So this looks like a good sponsor, but what do you think my sponsor is for the next race? But you'll find out what the sponsor reveal will be for the next race, so... Team management, uh, garage... So far, my, uh, this is completed and repaired. So 
so far. Uh, this is being built. This is completed. So far, my uh, oldest chassis is ready for Talladega. So you're going to see what the action is will be at Talladega. And you'll see the primary sponsor in the, in the next video. But until then, stay safe, stay cool, stay strong, and all the good stuff. But mainly stay positive. This is Odie Zone 101 signing off. I love you.